you guys, good morning. So this is probably a unusual day for me to post a video, but my wife's getting her wisdom teeth pulled out. So in the meantime, I've been running errands and I'm gonna be taking the day off work uh, to stay at home with her. Well, I'm gonna be working at home. But anyways, I wanted to make a video that's kind of supplementary to the last video I made about um, you know, finding more time in your day, being efficient with the time. And this video is called Working in the Margins, or that's probably gonna be the title. But this is kind of a concept that I've been using for the past uh, few years now, working on my business and, you know, growing it. And basically what it means is that there is a lot, a lot of time in your life is spent waiting and waiting is actually one of the eight wastes in your life um, and you uh, like throughout your day you have a lot of things that you're doing and you're not really using that time effectively because you're spending a lot of it waiting for things so a, a, a perfect example of this is you're waiting in the car during traffic you're at the grocery store and you're in line waiting a lot of things have, have to do with lines or let's say you're in the drive through getting a cup of coffee or something like that you're at the dentist appointment and you're sitting in the lobby for half an hour at the doctors sometimes you can sit like for 20 30 40 whole hour sometimes that happens uh, and there's plenty of other situations so in those times I don't sit around and just mindlessly scroll my phone or waste that time actually I'm almost I almost look forward to that time sometimes because I get a lot of work done and I can be super concentrated during those times. I actually have like a little, um, and I'll show you guys this later, I have a little kit in my car that I take with me everywhere where it has like a charger, my AirPods, uh, my computer glasses, uh, and I take that with me because when I'm at places where I can wait a long time or if I'm doing specific work, mobile work, like literally on my phone. I have that kit with me, it helps me a lot. So during those times, I like to work within the margin, that's what I call it. So I like to find new customers through social media and Instagram. So that means like, you know, liking and commenting on people's photos and having them come to the page. I like to check my emails and respond to customers as soon as I can because that's what I try to do. And another thing that I do is I go through my phone and like kind of delete and clean up like, you know, delete old photos and free up storage space, right? And delete any unnecessary apps or things I'm not using. Another thing that you can do is I go on Pinterest and that's where I save content and find ideas and concepts to work with. And, you know, you can also go on, if you have other social media apps connected, you can go through all of those and also take care of them. There's a lot of stuff that you can do on your phone, and this is all from your phone too. I'm not like bringing a laptop anywhere I go. And you can get a lot of work done that, that way. You can also, uh, actually, if you have the Shopify app, you can even edit and add products through your phone. So I could literally have, let's say I had like a Google Drive and I had uh, images downloaded for uh, specific products I'm releasing for the month. I can literally post those on the store, put the content edited, put the prices, everything through my phone actually. So if you're on a time crunch or you just need to put something up really quick or edit, you can edit your store as well. Sometimes I like to go through my store and kind of audit what I need, where I need to put stuff, you know, like sometimes I need to delete a product or shift it over to a new category. So you can literally do stuff like that on your phone on the Shopify app. So that's what I mean by working within the margins. It's it's not letting those times in your day go by and go to waste because you can actually really propel your, your business forward. And it might not seem like a lot because maybe you might only have like 20 minutes in the day where you're waiting and you can actually do those things. Um, oh, another funny example of like waiting is like if you're on the toilet for however long, that's a good time to do it, to be honest, instead of just scrolling mindlessly through your phone. Why not use that time to work in the margins? And it, it's not really like that much time of the day necessarily that 
you have to work on it. it might not seem like a lot but if you do it every single day for a year or two you actually will get a lot done because it compounds over time uh, there's a great book kind of talking about this called the compound effect and I don't know if I've mentioned it before it's a great book but it kind of just shows you how certain things in your life like if you do like the repeated things over and over again they compound um, kind of like smoking if you smoke one cigarette it's not really that bad you smoke a lot every single day your body is <laughs> it's gonna take a toll on you it's not gonna be good for you so yeah and the, the cool thing about working in the margins as well is that it makes the time go by faster so like I have my headphones plugged in and I'm like working on my phone I get like the time goes by super fast which is super cool and that's another good thing about it so anyways uh, I hope you guys like this video this is just a really great productive tip that I use and I think that if you guys get to the habit of doing it you will see how how much more how much more things are getting done like literally I'm not like let's say I'm like waiting at uh, like Starbucks or something for five minutes in the drive-thru I literally find new people that follow the page and people like literally people that will actually purchase stuff too like just sitting there like just taking five minutes to go through my social media like it literally works and that's why I do all the time so that's what I recommend to you guys um, one safety thing is like if you're kind of stuck in traffic for 30 seconds a minute it's probably not a good idea to do it but if you're like really stuck in traffic like an hour and it's backed up because I've been stuck in traffic for up to four hours once and I I would work on my phone doing that because I'm not gonna let the time go to waste but yeah you can do that but I don't I don't recommend doing it if you're like driving you know anyways hope you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think down in the comments below thanks guys